Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady Play, where it's episode 11 of Tainted Grail. Wow. And Eilie is going to be fighting a weird bear. Oh. And Should here's that way. weird bear. And you can tell it's weird, because not only is it covered with pus and all kinds of gross things, here are some exposed ribs. Blech. It's also got two extra legs that shouldn't be like that. No. It's got a skull on its head, uh, and also a, lots of bony ridges and an exposed spine. It's definitely a weird. weird bear. See, this is why you don't want to be weird in Avalon. Arr, <laughs> but if you kill the weird bear, you might save this woman, and hopefully she's useful and worth saving, mm. and not just kind of useless and a bit rubbish. Yeah. Here we go. So... I don't have aggression. See, this is going to be a super problem for me, isn't it? Mm. Uh, right, so you need something you can play off practicality. Um, I could play that straight away. Because that would give me... Because I can play that because it's my first card. And then I get two wounds. Yeah, and then you deal with two wounds, yeah. That's pretty good. Mm. I mean, it's a start. I mean, of course, then the bear will immediately get rid of them. Yes. Shit, I don't know if you can do this, buddy. But then if I do that, it's five. But I somehow feel like you should maybe save the witch's bile until till to kill it you know because there's no point in taking a wound and using that yeah. until you're sure you can kill it so you need to get five on it first yeah otherwise there's not much point I see you're just not your cards just aren't that aggressive they're all supportive yeah. oh, damn it why am I doing your encounters and you're, you're doing, doing mine? mine this is foolish <laughs> god we should have been moving as a party maybe I should just run away yeah and the woman will die sad times I could flip over the weapon no, it's a relic, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been great. Could have got two more wounds on it. Um, See, that's a rubbish card to attach anything to. Because I don't have two snakes. I only have one. Mm -hmm. And that means I can't play you it. You didn't get the bonus, yeah. I think you just need to run away, dude. I don't think you can do this. Yeah. What you can do is discard one of your three cards and draw two new ones. Okay. Oh, sorry, discard all three cards and, and draw, draw two, two new ones. ones. That's what I meant. Is that good? I don't know. You might as well try. None of these are going to do you any good. True. So discard all three? Yeah, and then draw two new ones. All right, let's see if these are any better. Nope. Defend... And hold guard. Um, you could play hold guard because it gives you much better options next turn. Mm. And um, you can choose the enemy attack, just choose lose two wounds, and then nothing happens. Or lose three wounds. They're both, I mean, combat cubes and sequel. Oh, uh, yeah. So choose number two. Yeah, choose number two. And then do I just pick one? Well, and then. Um, so then, uh, so you play whole guard, then it's the enemy's attack, he, nothing happens, discard down to three, draw a card, yeah. Hope this is better. Why didn't none of your bonus boxes have anything in them? Hmm. So I get one, one fighting a green encounter. For each point of practicality. I mean, that's so pointless, though. Yeah. You're just going to take three wounds. Mm. You might as well just take one but wound. But I do pick one. up a card. Because he just had an attack as well, so that takes down to four. But I do pick up a card. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, you do. Your character's truly appalling at combat. Mm-hmm. I don't think I can win this. Even if you could, I don't think you'll win it in time. Yeah. 
And I think uh, if you don't run away now, yeah, you're gonna lose three wounds. Yeah, so you might as well just run now and take the one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, dude. No problem. I'm more upset about this woman dying. Does she actually die? Uh, well, I will read you what happens now. Uh oh. Hmm. It's not good though. It's not good. Uh, it's not what we wanted. Uh. Oh, sugar. I lost my place in the book of secrets. <laughs> Ow. Mm-hmm. Well, no. So we have gained. So I, the woman has died. Oh dear. Um, all I know is that uh, we need the secret pencil, the pencil of destiny, to mark out um, part five of the Coswell status. What's that? No. So what did it say in the book? Mark that. Explosion ends. The woman's died. Yeah, the woman dies. Mark that. Explosion ends. Damn. <laughs> and uh, presumably the weird bear stays. I don't think so. He's a guardian, isn't he? Yeah. If not defeated, this enemy will roam the map. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Michael. You just summoned a weird bear. Um, my, I fully suggest you leave. Mm, agreed. Um, ideally, try to get somewhere, like, if you go to the first farm hold, actually, you don't have to have a purple encounter. Yeah. I can do that. I can move too. Yeah, move through, well, if you move through Titan Steps, you can have free exploration as well. Okay, let's do that. So you can have free exploration here. But I feel like we've done everything. Uh, we've done everything except stop and look out of the uh, sit on the mountain and look out I don't think that's a good idea <laughs> okay uh, well I mean we can well it's the only thing you can do otherwise there's no exploration okay well if you don't want to sit and rest and look at the view then you might as well crack on do you think it's worth it? I have no idea <laughs> it's Avalon it could be great it could be terrible I don't, know. I don't know. I can't... I don't see why it would be bad, but that doesn't mean it. it's not bad. Uh, you took a wound, by the way, from running from the bear. Okay. Um... No, I... T- would you do it? Yeah, I don't want to have to decide if I would do it or not. I don't want to do it. Okay. <laughs> Then you move on to the first farm hold. Okay. Then you don't have to draw a proper monster because I already fought it. Cool. That's me. I'm done. <laughs> Good. Great. End of the day. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. <laughs> um, so, uh, yep. Eat a food. Mm-hmm. May I have two red, please? Mm-hmm. Bum, bum. <laughs> and then uh, gain a health and lose a terror. Except for you, you don't lose any terror. Um, go back up to full energy. Mm. I'm going to shuffle this into here. Yeah. And then we have dreams, and we're both going to have a dream. Hey, and now we get to find out what the first farmhole dream is. Mm. So the reason I also advise you to move to there is at least the weird bear's not going to move into that's that space. That's exactly right. I didn't want to... I didn't want to... And that's why I was worried. Maybe the thing will make me stay there. Maybe I'll get lost in thoughts or something like that, and it'll keep me there. Mm. Maybe like, yeah, the mesmerizing countryside. Yeah. You fall asleep. Sleep, exactly. And your turn. And, and your then the turn bear then. comes in and eats you. Correct. <laughs> yeah. That's not ideal. <clears throat> maybe I'll just, I mean, maybe the bear will just leave like... again. What do you think? <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't that it? That would be nice. Maybe I was being a bit overcautious, but... <laughs> leave, bear, leave! <laughs> maybe you'll go down to whitening and terrorize them. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you'll go over to the lake. Oh, hopefully. Get, get a nice dip. Okay. So, um, dreams, 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 dreams. Um, right, so we've got 117 and 119, so we'll do 117 first, which is yours. <clears throat> wow, there's a lot that happens in 117. A tiresome dream of endless siege, defeating constant assaults and hope. Even in the direst situation, the first person on the island never lost hope, and that's the sole reason you're here today. <laughs> Hint. There's always a way to gather enough resources to light up the next men here. If you get stuck, explore! 
Wasn't that nice? Mm-hmm. Nice helpful hints. Hmm. You know we need magic. <laughs> and there's a way to get magic in the derelict fleet. Here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yes. I just have to spend four. <laughs> okay. Dreams. Dreams, dreams, dreams. You are a pioneer, observing your new land with conquest in your heart and eyes fixed on the future. Um, with the greatest figures of your age around you, no enemy or hardship seems impossible to overcome. Before you, a small part of an exposed shore emerges out of the weirdness. You will make your landing here. Mm. Each character who has this dream gains a magic. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. All right, two down, two to go. Oh, you've got one. No, we only need one. one more. Perfect. And think of I know what we're doing tomorrow. <laughs> are we done? Is that are we out of time? No. No. I mean, tomorrow is in like in the game. Yeah. Right. For me, I thought is that the whole episode? That was very short. <laughs> we were, all we did was let a woman die. <laughs> oh, that sounds bad when I say it like that. <laughs> all right. So then, um, everything that ticks on ticks on. So I'm afraid the crystals are now gone. I've run out of pale crystals, so they go back into the secret stack. Sad. Hmm. Carried them around for nothing. I bet now it's going to be like, if you have pale crystals, do a thing. <laughs> Damn it. Um, to, uh, so actually, our men here in Kaunax goes dark. And we lose... This one, this one, this one, yep. this one. This All one. of those ones go back into the uh, location deck, if you wouldn't mind. And then we're going to have a random event card. <laughs> Any weird bears move, move directly to Michael. Full moon. Whenever you would draw a random purple encounter, draw two and pick the hardest one. <sighs> Whenever you would draw a random green encounter or gray encounter, draw a purple one instead. The cost of activating men here is lowered by one magic. Ooh. Well. So now we can do it. Yeah, except I'm going to have to go in there and fight a super hard purple beast just to get to you. Yes. Which <laughs> sucks. Um, I would like to do an explore at the derelict fleet before I leave, though. Also, are we, like, ready to activate another men here? We're, I feel like we're moving very quickly. Hmm. But I feel... We've got five days left on the, the whitening men here. On the other hand, I, I guess there's no point in dilly-dallying. There's no point in dilly-dallying. Well, we get experience points. <laughs> we need to activate this men here so we can see what the land is, because otherwise we're stuck. Yeah. Well, uh, let me do an explore here, because I'd like to at least see what's going on before I leave. Mm-hmm. I just got here. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. All right. And then I guess I'll have to move in there and fight that thing, and then we'll both have to go up to Titan's steps. Okay. Maybe you can help me. We can combat together. Yeah. Okay. No, we can't, because I have to draw it when I enter the location, and we can't. We won't be partied then. Damn it. Damn it. Arthur arrived on Avalon aboard three cogs laden with knights, soldiers, and settlers. As the conquest progressed, more and more ships came, until the sheltered curve was awash with creaking hulls bound together by chains. Most of these ships have long since sunk into the sea, and the lone fort guarding the fleet now presides over a field of rotten debris, with a solitary tree rising from the water. The crown of this strange tree shimmers with runes of ancient magic. Gimme. So, you can visit the old fort, Swim to the tree, come through debris, or leave. Swim to the tree! Okay. Yes, swim to the magic tree, swim to the magic tree, swim to the magic tree. Do we have secret card 78? No. Runes of pure light shimmer in the crown of the tree and fog covers the ground below. Tired from a long swim, you try to reach the safety of the tangled roots, only to hit an unexpected invisible obstacle. Wait. Please continue. That was the worst possible one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> um, the dome is impassable. Inside, you see the rough outline of a ship, a way off this doomed island. It looks like druid magic, a druidic magic, so perhaps you could learn something in Moonring. Without a place to rest, you barely return to shore alive, losing energy and, and lose one energy and one health. Yeah, lose a health. Gain part seven of the Pathfinder status. Um, new task, solve the mystery of the time-lost fleet. 
And there's an, uh, another hint. Some tasks can only be finished after you progress far enough into the main story of the game. This is one of them. <laughs> Part 7 of the Pathfinder? Yes. Alright, give me that notebook. Oh, look at all these tashes. <laughs> it's okay. Um, what is, what's the task? Solve the mystery of the time lost fleet. I was going to write down uh, 119 mm -hmm. derelict fleet because that's where I found this. Okay, so uh, I had to move that bear because we forgot. Now it's usually problematic. Mm, yes. I wish you hadn't bothered. I wish you, I wish you would have waited. <laughs> <laughs> He was always destined to go there and cause... I don't think that actually doing a whole lot during this full moon is particularly useful. Mm. In fact, if I just stay here today, I'll get another magic anyway, and then it won't matter. Mm. I also don't have to move back into where you are and have a hard encounter. Yeah. Um, and then that also... Also, if we activate this men here now, it's going to give the bear more places to go. Yeah. Whereas true. if we wait, he's it more likely to, to get, go leave. off the map. Yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully he just won't sit there. So with that in mind, I might just do another explore here, but you can have a go first if you like. What I might do... Uh, did we... We explored the first farm hold, haven't we? And there wasn't any... Yeah, there. oh, that's right. We did do an explore, and because we didn't have remnants, there was nothing for us to do. Yeah. I'm, I might... What I might do is I might go to the Hunter's Grove and see if I can do something with the relics. The relics? Oh, right. You mean the, uh... Mm. Well, when you go into whitening, you'll have to do a blue encounter. Oh, will I? Yeah, but, uh... I can do blue. Yeah, blue is your thing, so you'll be all right. So, yeah, if you go into the blue encounter... If you go... And then you'll get to the Hunter's Grove, and it'll be like, and now fight a weird bear. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> all right, so that's one, um... Mm -hmm. One energy into there. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just remember that green and gray, everything's purple except for blue encounters. So if you get into the Hunter's Grove and it's like, draw a blue-green encounter, you'll have to draw a purple one. Yeah. And then you'll have to draw two and pick the highest value. Everything's mm. shitty right now. Yeah. Full Moon sucks. So what we have here... Is Law of Hospitality. People here are not very friendly, but there are old customs and laws you could invoke. So you've got to enforce the law. Okay. Reward to food. Failure to terror and leave. Hmm. Or you could just pay one energy now to avoid the card and move on. Do we need the food? I mean, food's not bad, but... Hmm. I mean, it doesn't seem particularly difficult, but I leave it up to you, dude, because... Um, because you 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 wanted to move through this area anyway, uh, avoiding the card is basically... You could basically just pretend you didn't have to do it. Correct. Yeah. I don't think we're in a danger of needing food at the minute. And then if I'm there, I can always get to food. On the, on the yeah, but on, on the other hand, resolving this card costs you nothing and could save you spending actions getting food later. I mean, this only costs you something if you fail, but I I think you should be fine. It's a level one diplomacy card. That's true. It's only three, isn't it? Fine. I'll give it a go. I think that's probably a good idea because it's two food, which is not bad. And, uh, you know, it, costs, it doesn't cost you any resources to finish it mm. unless you fail. Yeah. You just got to keep in mind that this has got that stupid thing on it. Mm. So I can play Empathy. Four. Three. Empathize. And I go up two. Yeah, look at that. You've already gone up two. And I draw a card. Uh, nope, that's later. Time token goes on it. Mm -hmm. Boop. Boop. Because you have a spirituality now, don't you? And you have two. You can just play. I can just play. Captivating, captivating song it. and win. Yeah. Because uh, you've got the spirituality, you've got the two empathize. Yeah. And affinity was green, so you don't lose a rep. And uh, then you've won. You've just won. Yep. See? Two foods, so easily. Super easy. Yep. That goes on the bottom of the green deck. And I'll give you this guy. Take that guy. Cool. Well, I have plenty of food, so we can check. 
Cool, that's good, because I'm running low. Okay. I'm a hungry lady. <laughs> so, shall I move on? Yeah, man. Go move for on. it, into the Hunter's Grove. Yeah. And then... That costs one energy. Yes, and then do one energy to do the relics. Yeah, okay, so you want to do an explore? Yeah. All right, so you're going to sleep in the shrine. Yes. No. No. Dig through the offerings. Yeah, no. Well, there's three options, isn't there? No, because we don't have the, the right status. No, we cannot do that. You can either sleep in the shrine or dig through the offerings, or leave. Uh, I'll dig through the offerings, then. <clears throat> Clearly, if they left coins here, they did not want them anymore, right? <laughs> if you do not have part five of the pillager status, gain one wealth, and then gave, gain part five of the pillager status. If you have one more, one or more spirituality, gain a terror. Exploration ends. No. Uh. <laughs> Gain a reputation. What was that? Uh, uh, wealth. Wealth. And then also, we are now getting a real reputation as right mooks. <laughs> Fucking pillagers. <laughs> Just p- 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 pillaging the land. Uh, you've still got two energy left. Um, do you know what you're going to do with it? Mm. No. <laughs> Well then, if you don't know, I guess we'll have to call it a day. Well, what I might do is I might go back into Whiting, where the Menir is, because then, at least when I rest, I can reduce a... You'll have to have another blue encounter. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> what are we mm. doing? We're just wandering around blundering. <sighs> oh. I feel it's important for me to go there, though. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Come before the storm. Nothing happens. Place this card at the bottom of the blue encounter deck. Woohoo! Fuck, I needed that. <laughs> God damn it. Cool. That's the kind of diplomacy I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. so uh, now you're back in whitening. Um, I could do an explore, but... I don't think there's anything for you no, to do, too- though. Yeah. Really, I think we've kind of explored the heck out of whitening. Yeah. Um, why don't you grab some more of the pale crystals? While you're there. If you've got an energy to spare, there's no reason not to. Well, we might find a use for them. Okay. So I'll just very quickly run through that chain just in case there's something that's Are you changed. out of energy? Uh, you, oh, no, I've still got two more. Huh. I think I was going to do a few more explores, like push through the relics and things. Right. But the people are horrified. Gain the secret card and place the dial on three. Exploration ends. <laughs> Go us. <laughs> Go us. We're basically just repeatedly collecting lichen in case we stumble across somebody who wants it. it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the good news is now you're going to be able to rest at the active men here and get your terror down. Some three. Yeah. Get your terror down. Exactly. All right. And with two more things, to, two more energies, I'll probably explore the fleet, maybe check out the fort tomorrow and ready to steady play. So I hope you're enjoying Tinted Grail. And uh, actually, the... Uh, series will probably end here so when i say tomorrow i mean next time on tainted grail whenever that is so if you're enjoying this playthrough of tainted grail you want to see more of it do leave comments below and michael and i will endeavor to film some more uh but this is the end of our filming session for this particular series of tainted grail Mm -hmm. and um that'll be it for now until we come back do you want to do it just so we're doing it at the end of a day i'll complete the day yeah it It feels feels more final yeah it feels more a, a point to finish it on <gasps> okay we'll go a little longer this episode look at that Michael advocating for the viewers get a bit more bonus content and increase my workload <laughs> uh, what am I at uh, 119 alright there we go buddy derelict fleet for me okay. what are my options uh, visit the old so, fort there's an explore swim to the tree not doing that again come through the debris leave <laughs> Well, I feel like comb through the debris might actually give me some secret about the mystic of the time lost fleet, so I'll try that to start. Uh, what? Comb through the debris. Comb through the debris, seven. Maybe I'll learn something about this fleet of boats. Do we whatever. have part five of hidden treasures? No. <laughs> you keep rummaging through wreckage until you discover there's nothing more to find here. Exploration ends. Do you know what? I pretty much exactly figured out that, but I will remember that we need a status to get in there. All right, well, then I'll spend my final energy to do the fort. Okay. The fort is but an empty ruin. You noticed something was recently chipped away at its weird stone portcullis. 
The trail of cartwheels and stone dust disappears to the north. Go back to the start of this location and make another choice. Oh my god. Leave. <laughs> yeah. Well, the good news is we can finish the day now. <laughs> See, that was worth waiting for. <laughs> oh my god. I knew I knew it was going to be like that. That's why I picked the tree first, because I was like, all the rest of this stuff is just going to be a, have been picked dry. Yeah. But because of the full moon, I can't leave this location anyway, because no. the only place for me to go is up there, mm. and then I'm going to fight a really hard purple monster, yeah. and also be in danger of getting weird bared. Yeah. You know, I don't want any of that. Don't do that. <laughs> so, um, we're not going to start the day, so we won't get to see where the weird bear moves. That'll have to be dramatic for next next Tainted Time. Grail session. <laughs> but for now, we'll just uh, consume a food. Mm-hmm. Done. And uh, I'm going to gain a hit point and lose a terror. And you are actually going to get to do both of those things, too. And we'll go up to full energy. Mm-hmm. We can modify our decks if we want to, but I don't think we want to. Nah. Um, we're both going to have dreams. I think we've done all of these dreams. The white whitening dream didn't really do much. It was about the people walking and talking backwards. Yeah. And, and you the get derelict magic. fleet gives me a magic, which is exactly why I stayed here. So now I've got three magic. Cool. And that will enable us to go and activate that men here next Fabulous. time on Tainted Grail. Yeah. Yeah. hope you've enjoyed it yeah I hope you've enjoyed it because I've really enjoyed this and I'd like to come back and do more so um, if you've enjoyed this and the spoilers haven't been too much for you please uh, let us know and we will come back and do more but in the meantime uh, we'll be back tomorrow for something completely different thanks for coming on this adventure guys bye subscribe click Subs- like yes click uh, the bell yes do all of those things <laughs> man that's like a bunch of to grow where we didn't mention that at, at all, all. Uh, yeah if you like us uh, and this series please subscribe Thank- <laughs> I'd-, I'd leave a comment and all Ring the, the bell for notifications. All the things that YouTube <laughs> likes. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye team. This has been fun. <laughs> oh. What are we doing? Oh no. <laughs>